Hello, everyone. There is a person I know, and I am telling you this for educational purposes, for you to learn. Not to really shame anyone, but to educate people. There is a person I know, and that person allowed someone to give them advice. And I guess in some aspects, that person was, I guess, maybe was in some eyes of some people, perhaps, a respected source of information, I guess to a degree. And that person, the advisor, was giving let's say the initial person is person A and the advisor is person B. So person B was giving, later it was found out that person B was giving relationship advice to person A. And mind you, or should I say, person B has a terrible relationship. Like, person B should probably be one of the last people to give relationship advice. But anyways, person B would give relationship advice to person A. And I guess for a while, or maybe to a percentage, person A was, as it seems, taking the relationship advice. Okay. So after a time, after a time, person A's relationship broke up, broke up. And person A was confused. Like, what is really going on? And after person A found out real good, that person B's advice was pretty faulty, person A stopped to a degree, or should I say mostly maybe, stopped listening to person B's advice. And that's why I say, and I believe the Bible say too, we know the tree by its fruit. If you really want to know someone, look at what they are saying and look at their actions. So anyways, to go back to the story, person A, 
So person A is the person who would listen to the advice and person B was the faulty advisor. So when person A pretty much stopped listening to person B's advice, for whatever reason, Person B started to get really physical, yes, really physical with person A. Like physical fights. Okay, in the beginning, I guess person B was trying to help person A, right? So how is it that person B was trying to help, but after time, now person B wants to fight Person A, fault. So, see, this is one of the reasons, this is one of the reasons why you can't listen to everybody. I believe some people have unpure motives. I guess in the beginning, person B was, I guess, trying to show themselves as like a helper, like, a, I guess, as a helper, as a, a person that is looking out for person A. But I guess, Person A did not know really what was going on in the beginning. Unpeer motives. I truly believe that. I truly believe that. Everyone who acts like they are your friend, they have your back doesn't particularly mean that they have your back. Some people, and I believe this to be true too, some people have miserable lives. Miserable lives. And just because their life is miserable, they want to mess your life up too because hey, if my life is going bad, your life will go bad too because I am going to sabotage it. I think that's how some people think. Look, man, sometimes you have to be alone. Let me tell you this story. And this was years ago, probably back in 2006, seven so a while back and this person I would speak to so much back then was it 2006 7 I forget which year this guy was going through some trouble with his wife at that time and I was not married. And maybe that person wasn't trying to give me bad advice, but that person gave me bad advice that if I would have done it, I would have regretted it so much. 
can't listen to everybody, man. Even your so-called friends. Even till this day, sometimes, every so often, I think about the advice that man gave me. I don't even talk to that person now. For whatever reasons. Reason, reasons. But that man gave me horrible advice. Like idiotic advice. I listened. I listened to um, probably back in 2005, 2004, no, 2005 or six, probably 2005. I listened to this other guy, gave me bad advice, messed up what, messed up something I had going on. Gave me advice I did not have to do. Some people know what they are talking about. Some people don't. Some people have miserable lives. Some people... Yes. I believe some people have miserable lives and they may want your life to be miserable as well. Someone may see that you have something that they don't have and they don't want you to have it. I, man, I believe that so much. And perhaps they don't want you to have it so they will mess you up, sabotage you. Please listen to what I am saying. Everyone doesn't have your best interests in mind. They really don't. That's one of the reasons why, and this may upset some people, and I guess that is fine. I have, I have a wife, but I don't have a true friend. I don't have a true friend. Now, I may have some people after hearing me on the internet or speaking to me once or twice, they may refer to me as their friend and no, they are not. I find people who try to be your friend really fast without you really knowing them too much, I find, and I may be wrong about this, they will backstab you in a second, like really fast, figuratively speaking, in a second. I hope this makes sense. So, you may call me your friend, but you are not. I have no friend. Almost, now there have been some people who called me friend that may had been for a while, I guess, but probably 99% of people who call me their friend are not, are not. Because if you meet someone for a day or two, you don't really know them. You don't really know their intentions, do you? You don't know if they are trying to set you up, right? I believe that is one of the reasons why we should not be so thirsty, be so desperate, desperate to have a friend. 
you can have associates, right? Someone to speak to on like a average level, but guard yourself. Don't be so quick to allow someone in your house like you met them at church and you want them to spend the night over your house and do all this stuff with you. You don't really know them, do you? I hope this makes sense. All advice, or should I say, some advice should not be listened to. If you have something really good, myself, let me say this. I am not so open with my private life. Yes, yeah, sometimes when I make videos, I may tell you what happened to me and stuff like that. But I am not so open with my private life. Like with some things, I keep a secret. Why? Because you don't know who is out there. You don't know what some people can do with some information, right? You don't really know how someone is going to react to the information you are giving. Let me stop here. I hope this makes sense. God bless you.